Today is Shiva Sar Tammuz observed. We are commemorating the fast of the 17th day of Tammuz, which commemorates the day in which the walls of the Be- of Yerushalayim were breached several weeks later, torching of the Beis HaMikdash, destruction of Jerusalem, and the, uh, and the exile of our people. The question is, why do we bother to commemorate uh, Shiva Sar Tammuz? Really, it's not the end of the story. The end of the story is Tisha B'av. So we can commemorate Tisha B'av, fast on Tisha B'av, which is the uh, k- destruction and the, and the exile date. And that would incorporate uh, the, the Shiva Asar B'tamuz as well. In fact, the question is uh, even broader than that. We have Asara B'teves, which commemorates the surrounding of the walls, the se- laying the siege of Jerusalem many, uh, uh, many years earlier. And so, and in fact, uh, we also commemorate uh, Kitzom Gedalia, which during the first Beis HaMikdash as well, uh, was the last vestige of Jewish sovereignty uh, with the assass- coming to an end with the assassination of, uh, of Gedalia ben Achikom. So some of these uh, events relate to the first Beis HaMikdash, some relate to both, but at the end of the day, why don't we just commemorate Tisha B'av, the destruction and dissolution of Jerusalem and its people, during the uh, end of the second Beis HaMikdash 2,000 years ago, and that would incorporate everything that came before it. And I think the answer is precisely this point, that uh, there are various inflection points and decision points along the way, parts of the process, each point that could have been different and that would not have ultimately led to the conclusion that we of the reality of life that we have today. We could have done it differently. B'nai Yisrael could have chosen differently. Sinas Chinam could have been eradicated earlier. And Avodah Zarah, pagan idolatry, all types of wayward behaviors of the Jewish people, whether they are, uh, uh, w- whether they are sins men adam lamakom, or most prominently as we think about today, the terrible tragic sins of the political and, uh, and, and civil divides within the Jewish people. All of those issues had put inflection points, points in which Kalal Yisrael could have chosen differently. And with each of those inflection points, Bnei Yisrael was challenged. Do you want to continue on this route, or do you want to do it differently? And each point, Bnei Yisrael, at, in, in its historic time, chose to continue the same path, ultimately leading to Tisha B'av, which we will commemorate perhaps uh, in three weeks from now, if uh, Mashiach does not come beforehand. But today is a Shiva Sarbatamas, and it is an inflection point, not just in the history of the Jewish people, but for us as individuals. We are challenged now to think about our lives and value the decision points within our lives and, and, and focus and use today as a point of self-reflection. Are the decisions that I have made the decisions that I want to continue with? Are the decisions that I'm going to make ones that will enhance my spiritual self and the spiritual uh, standing of our people? Today commemorates the importance of decisions and the importance of the inflection points within the Jewish people and within our lives. So let's use today Shiva Sarbatamas to reflect on our lives and hopefully with uh, the aid of the Rabboni Shalom to choose well, to choose differently, to choose in a way that aids and enhances our own personal spiritual lives and the lives of Klal Yisrael. Have an easy and meaningful fact.